Hey there. So we're on to question six now, which is about compound angle identities. Sine 43, cos 23, minus cos 43, sine 23. So let's see. Um, we are now looking at the specific compound angle identity, which you should have come across, and it is written like this. Sine alpha, either plus or minus beta, is equal to sine alpha cos beta plus or minus cos alpha sine beta. All right, so here we go. There, this part over here looks very similar to this. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to get an answer from this um, uh, this compound angle identity. So let's just write down the actual question. Sine 43, cos 23, and here it's a minus cos 43, sine 23. Okay? It's a minus. Okay, so let's just do that. All right, so what are we left with? If we have to simplify this, it's going to look something like this left-hand side. So this is equal to sine. The alpha over here represents... 43 degrees and the beta represents the 23 degrees so what is this going to look like sine 43 and because we have a minus over there it's going to be minus and minus a beta Okay, so there's your alpha, there's your beta. All right, so what's the next step? What is 43 degrees minus 23 degrees? It is 20 degrees. And do we have such an answer on the top? Yes, we do. We've got sine of 20, which is D.